A Canada where power, progress, and pride come together. A Canada where our industries rise again, our workers thrive again, and our future is built by our own hands. A Canada that refuses to wait for permission to lead. Because this time, we are building something historic. The Darlington New Nuclear Project will sustain 3,700 jobs annually, including 18,000 additional jobs during construction. Those 3,700 jobs, they'll extend over the next 65 years. A couple of more World Series trips for the Jays. Jobs like the plant workers who are here with us today, fulfilling careers in the trades, working to provide Ontario families with power. We're also making sure that at least 80% of the project spending goes to Ontario companies and we're using Ontario products at every opportunity so that Ontario tax dollars support Ontario workers. That includes using steel made here in the province by Ontario steel workers to build the new SMRs. With tariffs and economic uncertainty hammering Ontario's workers and businesses, this is exactly the sort of investment our province needs. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most powerful and shocking stories unfolding in this country right now. A project that's making headlines, moving billions, and reshaping Canada's future in real time. This is the Darlington Small Modular Reactor Project. Four reactors that could redefine how Canada generates power, creates jobs, and secures its energy independence for the next century. At its core, this project is about more than just energy. It's about identity. It's about whether Canada steps into the future with strength or fades into the background as the world moves on. Let's make one thing clear. This project isn't just another announcement. It's part of a new national vision, a nation-building projects list that the federal government is crafting to shield Canada's economy from foreign pressure and create long-term prosperity. And at the heart of it, four sleek, compact, revolutionary reactors rising at Darlington, Ontario. The numbers are jaw-dropping. The federal government is investing $2 billion. Ontario is adding another $1 billion. That's $3 billion in public investment to power a generation. And the payoff? 3,700 permanent jobs and over 18,000 more during construction. 80% of every dollar spent on this project will stay right here in Ontario. Steel made by Ontario workers. Equipment built by Ontario manufacturers. Power generated for Ontario homes. That's not just energy policy, that's economic patriotism. For decades, we've watched our industries fade, our factories close, and our best engineers leave for other countries. Now, Canada is finally saying, no more. We will power ourselves. We will manufacture again. We will own our future. And for those who believe in Mark Carney's vision, the belief that smart investment and climate action can coexist this project is proof of concept. It's what happens when economic strategy meets environmental responsibility. Carney has long argued that clean technology isn't a burden, it's an advantage. That sustainable finance is the key to building nations that last. And that's exactly what's happening here. But why is this so urgent right now? Because we are living in an age of tariffs, trade wars, and global uncertainty. The U.S. has imposed duties that hit Canadian exporters hard. Energy demand at home is soaring. And yet, the world is racing to cut carbon emissions. If Canada wants to survive, no. If Canada wants to thrive, we need projects that deliver power, jobs, and sovereignty. That's what Darlington represents. Each of these small modular reactors SMRs is a marvel of modern engineering. Compact, efficient, and incredibly powerful. Together, they could supply clean electricity to hundreds of thousands of homes, industries, and cities. And because they're modular, 
they can be built faster, safer, and cheaper than traditional nuclear plants. But this is more than a science story. It's a political earthquake. Premier Doug Ford has pushed this project onto the Prime Minister's special nation-building list, a direct response to American tariffs and global inflation. It's designed to keep Canadian jobs in Canada and fuel our economy for decades. And the federal government agrees it's putting its money where its mouth is, with billions in funding and guarantees to make it happen. Meanwhile, Mark Carney, one of the sharpest economic minds this country has ever produced, is quietly shaping the conversation behind the scenes. He's argued that if Canada doesn't lead in clean technology, someone else will. The Darlington SMR proves that we're done waiting. We're ready to lead. Now, let's be honest, there are critics. Some say it's too expensive, too ambitious, too risky. They warn of cost overruns, delays, and dependence on imported nuclear materials. And yes, those risks are real. But so was the risk when we built the Transcontinental Railway. So was the risk when we invested in the Street Lawrence Seaway. So was the risk when we dared to stand up as an independent nation. Every generation faces a test. This is ours. The total cost of all four reactors could reach $21 billion. That's enough to make any accountant nervous. But think of what it buys. Energy security for 65 years, tens of thousands of jobs, cleaner air, and the rebirth of Canadian manufacturing. That's not a cost. That's an investment in legacy. Factories will hum again. Skilled trades will flourish. Students will study nuclear engineering knowing there's a future waiting for them. Steelworkers will build the future they can see with their own hands. This is not just power generation, it's nation generation. And beyond the numbers, there's something even bigger happening. A psychological shift. For too long, Canadians have been told to play small, to think modestly. But this project sends a different message. We can dream big again. We can build again. It's not about East or West, liberal or conservative. It's about Canada taking back control of its destiny. And this is only the beginning. The Darlington SMR is the first chapter in a whole list of nation-building projects infrastructure that will define who we are for the next hundred years. From tunnels and trade routes to renewable grids and new industrial corridors, the pieces are coming together. The world is watching. Because if Canada can pull this off, if we can be the first major country to deploy small modular reactors successfully, then every nation will come knocking for our technology, our expertise, and our leadership. It will mean exports, influence, and prestige. It will mean that when the world talks about the clean energy revolution, they'll mention Canada in the same breath as Japan, South Korea, and France. Of course, challenges remain. The reactors must meet the highest safety standards. Waste management has to be impeccable. Timelines must be realistic. But the momentum is unstoppable. Federal approval is in place. Contracts worth hundreds of millions have already been signed. Groundwork is underway. For people who believe in the future, this is it. This is Canada's moonshot. And if you think this is just about energy, think again. It's about confidence. It's about pride. It's about telling the world, Canada is back. For years, Mark Carney has said that climate policy and economic policy must be one and the same, that the future belongs to countries that can balance prosperity with responsibility. And now, his vision is coming to life, brick by brick, beam by beam, reactor by reactor. So when you look at those four reactors rising at Darlington, don't just see concrete and steel. See a symbol. A symbol of what happens when a country stops doubting itself. A symbol of a Canada that chooses courage over complacency. A Canada that builds again. Think about what this means for your children, for your community, for your future.
Because this project isn't happening in isolation. It's part of something larger, a rebirth of Canadian ambition. It's proof that we can be global leaders again. That we can create clean power, high-tech jobs, and national unity all in one stroke. And that's why you need to stay tuned, because the story is just beginning. Now, before we end, let me ask you something. When was the last time you truly felt proud of something built in this country? When was the last time you saw Canadians working together governments, workers, engineers to do something that mattered? That pride? That spark? That feeling of purpose? That's what the Darlington SMR stands for. And if you believe in that vision, if you believe Canada should stand tall again, then don't just watch from the sidelines. Be part of the movement. Hit that subscribe button right now and join us here on Canada Live. Because Canada Live isn't just another YouTube channel, it's a movement. It's where stories of real nation building come alive. It's where we expose what others ignore, where we celebrate innovation, and where we remind the world that this country still knows how to dream big. When you subscribe to Canada Live, you're not just following the news, you're standing up for Canada's future. You're standing up for clean energy, for Canadian jobs, for leadership that inspires instead of divides. You're joining a community that believes in progress, pride, and possibility.